So as you may know, the OSU libraries moved to a new library system over the winter break. In this video, I'm going to talk about OneSearch scopes and how you can use them to search more effectively in this new system. So we'll start with what is a scope. In this context, a scope refers to the type of information or the range of information that's being searched. Some scopes are wider for more comprehensive searches, and others are going to be narrower or more focused on things that you can get in a particular place or on particular types of information. So now let's take a look at how those work in action. Now I've already done a search from the library homepage, and that uses the OneSearch default scope, or the scope that OneSearch will use if I don't tell it to use something else. And I can see that up here at the top of the page. So this drop-down menu just to the right of the search box is where I can see all of the scopes that are available to me in OneSearch. And right now it's showing books, media, and articles. That's the OneSearch default. It's also the broadest and most comprehensive search that we have. So right now OneSearch is just trying to show me everything that might be useful to me on this topic. This is really useful at the beginning of a research process when you just want to see what's out there or if you're looking for something specific, a specific book or a specific article, and you just want to find it wherever it's hiding, then you're going to want to use this broad, comprehensive search. Now there's one thing that you can do to make this even broader. Right now, it's just showing me things that it thinks are available to me here at OSU. So I have about 3,600 results. If I go over here to the Facets menu and choose to expand my results to include things from other libraries that need to be ordered, that's going to give me a broader pool of information to search and a more comprehensive search. So in particular, if I'm looking for a specific book or a specific article, I definitely want to do that because I want to find it no matter where it is. And that's increased my results up to 4,700 results. So you can see that that's the broadest search that we have on this topic. But there are some other scopes that might be useful as well. The first one to take a look at is that this at OSU libraries only scope. This one behaves kind of like a traditional library catalog. So a library catalog basically is a database of things that are owned by a particular library. If you want to find a book and you want to find it in the OSU libraries, this is the scope that you would check to see if we had it. The OSU Libraries Plus Summit scope behaves in a similar way, except for it doesn't just look at what's from OSU Libraries, it also looks at the catalogs of the other libraries that make up the Orbis Cascade Alliance, which is 37 libraries in the Pacific Northwest. So it's another really good way to search for books. And then finally, we want to look at this article scope here. While books, media, and articles has a lot of articles in it, it also has a lot of other stuff. Our article scope is looking at some of our most important article databases and doing a search across those at the same time. So it's still going to be a very broad search. I have about 3,600 results here. Um, but I also have that option now to expand my results to other libraries. So this is something that you also want to consider in terms of troubleshooting. If you're just not seeing the results over here that you think you should be seeing, a really good thing to do is to go up to this drop-down and make sure that you are searching the scope that you want to be searching. 